Hi again, everyone. What is this? This, it looks a lot like an 8-track. There's Frampton Comes Alive, an 8-track. Another classic. The front looks a lot like an 8-track. Let's turn it around here. It is a Mona stereo cassette adapter MK-703SR. And how these came to be was the fact that until the mid-70s, the 8-track was the dominant tape format for people, for mobile tape format for people in their cars and their vehicles and things. And I, I had an 8-track unit in my first car. And then, then cassette became more dominant probably around 1975. It seemed to be kind of a transitional year. And cassette was coming, was going up, and eight track was kind of going down because people were getting cassette deck, cassette units for home, recording their own stuff, which was much easier than eight track. And also the players in the vehicles, the eight track player was a pretty solid. Uh, it wouldn't jump, wouldn't skip when you're driving around your car. It wasn't until about '75 or so that the technology for cassette players and vehicles really kind of caught up to the 8-tracks and they made them so that they wouldn't skip and things like that when you're driving them around. The cassette just really improved in quality dramatically around that time. So if you had an 8-track player and you wanted to start buying cassettes, you had to get an, you could get an adapter. This would fit in your 8-track unit in your, in your car. You put a cassette in here, insert it and it would play your cassette for you. And to do that, there is a battery. It's a, oops, it's a double A battery that fits in here. You put the cassette in, and then you flip a switch here. I'll show you this again. It brings the head out, the play head and a wheel, to start playing the cassette on that switch. Do it one more time, like that. Real exciting. So the cassette would just fit in here, then you put the whole thing in the 8-track and it would start playing your cassette in your car. Way you go. So uh, these were popular for a few years, I guess probably from about maybe 73 to probably about 1980. People that had 8-track players in their cars sometimes bought these Mona adapters. And I, I don't know how much they cost. I don't re remember. Likely about uh, maybe 20 or 30 dollars perhaps, I don't know. And, but they were popular for, for a few years. Interesting technology. Thanks for watching.